Discover what full service broking can do for you with Sher Khan's daily 3R research actionable update. Hello friend, this is Avinash here. Welcome to Sher Khan's 3R research actionable updates. 3R means the right sector, right quality and right valuation. In today's podcast, we bring you an update on LNT and Kaplan Point Labs. LNT The analyst reiterated a buy rating on LNT with a revised price target of Rs 1970 even decent quarter for FY22 healthy order inflow and strong order book of Rs 3.6 lakh crore and order prospect approximately 8.53 trillion. Order intake growth guidance of 12 to 15% for FY23 estimates. OPM in projects to be at the rate 9.5%, working capital at the rate 20 to 22% of FY23 sales, government focus on infra spend, private capex revival and traction from GCC due to rise in oil price bore well for growth. Five year strategic plan Luxia includes aiming for profitable growth in its core EPC manufacturing and expanding IT and TS portfolio. To unlock the value of its current investment in non-core areas, road power, target price factors in revised targets for key IT, technology, finance subsidiaries and reduction in valuation multiple for the core business. Next update is on Kaplan Points Labs. The analyst has maintained a positive view on Kaplan Point Laboratories with a potential upside of 35%. After establishing a strong presence in semi-regulated markets of Latin America, company is now set to chart out its growth path in the US and regulated markets, which opens up substantial growth opportunities. A confluence of factors which includes a strong product pipeline, market share gains, and plans to establish its front end would be the key growth drivers for US business. In the existing markets of Latin America, a strong distribution network expansion of product basket and plans to fall into bigger markets of Mexico, Chile and Brazil would be the trigger for the growth. The growth plans are backed by a capex plan which provides ample visibility. The management has guided for a 15-20% to top line growth on conservative side for FI23 and beyond and this point to strong growth momentum. Company is also eyeing an inorganic opportunity in the API space and if materialized can further support the growth plans. Quarter for FI22 was a strong quarter reflecting the benefits of operating leverage which led to double digit EBITDA growth despite contraction in cost margins. That brings an end to today's podcast. Thank you for listening in. We would love to hear your valuable feedback in the comment section. For more detailed disclosures and disclaimers, please refer to our research report or contact our nearest branch. Please read the risk disclosure documents issued by SEBI and relevant exchanges and terms and conditions on shaykhan.com before investing. Thank you for watching. To keep up with the latest from Sher Khan, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Sher Khan app for all your trading and investment needs. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.